What's up, collective? It's your girl, the Fly Empress, and I'm back to give you guys another energy reading. This reading will be for the first two weeks of November, you guys, and remember that this reading will not resonate with everyone, so only take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind, okay? If it ain't your story, don't make it fit, all right? It could be for somebody else. Maybe somebody else needs to know a message. But um, this is a collective reading, you guys. So, like I said, if it resonates with you, give me a thumbs up. Um, you can also write something in the comments if it's relating to you. Um, I am picking up a lot of transformations that's taking place at this time, you guys, regarding the collective as a whole. Some people are going to be feeling this energy heavier than other people, okay? Um but spirit is wanting for you guys to stay grounded. Uh, make sure you're staying up on your spiritual hygiene. This is not the time to slack off, okay? If there's areas in your life where you know you need more discipline in, then you definitely need to be re-evaluating that, changing some stuff up. Some, some You might have to implement some new things into your life. But spirit is wanting for you guys to keep an open mind, and I'm hearing open hearts. So really listen to your heart around this time. You're going to be receiving a lot of downloads. I am picking up for some of you guys, you're receiving a hella, a hella lot of downloads. Okay, it's hard to keep up with everything that you're receiving at this time. For some of you guys, this could be regarding research or studying. I feel like for some of you, you could be a little bit burnt out. Um, you could be taking time back from overworking yourself and really focusing on nourishing your body and your mind at this time. Because I am picking up, you guys, something is about to take the fuck off in your life. There's a major transformation that's taking place, okay? Um, I'm also picking up, you guys, as you know, Saturn um, came out of retrograde October the 23rd. Um, but the energy we're in right now, this is Scorpio season. Scorpio is all about death and rebirth, transformation, going within, discovering your true identity, looking at those areas that's been very dormant for a long time. Uh, but this is also governing sexuality, your creativity. Um, I'm picking up for a lot of you guys, you're stepping into your Phoenix energy. But I'm also hearing that something is playing out okay, from Saturn in retrograde. So Saturn in retrograde brought in a lot of lessons that we was needing to learn. For some of you guys, I feel like you have learned this lesson and you're making some type of change in your life. And so now that we're in Scorpio season, this is like the judgment season, okay? Um, Spirit is re-evaluating everything to see how you're going to be judged. So that depends on what you done changed in your life or what you done implemented in your life at this time. And I feel like you guys, whatever Spirit is calling for you to do and you do work on this, it's going to lead to your success, to your abundance, to your manifestations coming in, okay? I'm also picking up for some of you, if there's been people that's been sending you this negative ass witchy ass energy all of this shit is going back to them 10 times fold especially the more you work on yourself because you're building up your energy you're building up your defense system so like i said you guys i'm picking up a lot of karma or tower moments that's going to be happening within the collective as well especially if you know they've been operating in this low vibrational ass frequency i mean who does that anymore i mean Come on now, people, it's time to wake up. All right, spirit is like, it's time to wake up. Um, I'm picking up for a lot of people as well, y'all. It's like people are starting to become more spiritual <clears throat> or they're starting to see that it's certain things, certain habits, belief systems that they do need to tear down, okay? Um, for some of you guys, you're waking other people up, okay? Because I'm hearing unbothered, or you could be unfazed by other people at this time because you're too busy focusing on yourself, all right? So anyway, you guys, the first card we got out is Rihanna. So I'm here to take a bow, you guys. Take a bow because I'm picking up that you are passing a major spiritual test at this time. Um, there, There's definitely... 
if there's not a lot of eyes on you right now, I'm picking up in the near future, a lot of people are going to be having their eyes on you. It's like a lot of people are admiring you for your transformation. They can look at you as being very inspirational as well. Um, I'm picking up like you guys are attracting in your soul tribe, your crowd, like people who have the same beliefs as you. Um, you're also, is you're going to be very discerning around this time. So if people come in to try to tell you a lie or if somebody is coming in wearing a mask, you're going to be able to see through this shit. You're going to be able to tell that something isn't right with this person. It could be the way they act, the way they carry their body or I'm picking up like body languages. You're going to be able to tell like when they talk to you or the conversations they have with you, like is I'm hearing it, it hit different. Like this person vibration hit different. So for some of you guys, you could have family members, friends, or this could even be exes that's wanting to come back into your life in November. But you guys, I'm picking up like you embodying your divine feminine and divine masculine energy at this time. It's like you can't have one without the other. And I'm picking up you guys are definitely stepping into your goddess and godlike energy. All eyes on you, baby. I'm hearing you got the spotlight. So, yeah, I'm picking up with man down being here. I feel like for some of you guys, if um, this is regarding a specific other that you was dealing with, like I said, the more you build your energy, the more you focus on those areas of your life that you know you need to release, heal, let go of, or you need to start incorporating certain things into your life. Um, it's like the more you do this, you're building up all of this energy and there could definitely be somebody who's connected to you energetically. And it's like, I'm picking up like a cord breaking or somebody is going to feel like you done ascended to a new level, new height. You standing on a tower. Somebody is feeling like you're far away from them or it's like they're watching you get very far ahead. And this is fucking this person up in the head. That's what I'm hearing. All right. I'm picking up like somebody being fucked up in the head because they watching all of this success and victory come into your life. For some of you guys, this person is going to be reaching out to you. But I'm, I'm hearing that you're going to be able to tell that this is somebody who still need a lot of work. One of the reasons why this person could be reaching out to you is because... Somebody could have caught this person in a lie with unfaithful being here. Or you know this person isn't faithful. You can feel like this is somebody who got a hidden agenda. Especially because they don't see seeing you upgrade. They see everybody looking at you, applying you. People um sending you good energy, good vibes. And you can feel like the only reason why this person is coming in is because they see that your life has transformed. Not only do you look good, okay, you business minded, you educated, you're smart, you're connected to spirit, you're connected to source, you're taking care of your health. Like I said, you're taking care of your home. This is somebody who's, who's watching you use all of your energy and power to manifest abundance and success and victory into your life and it's like they're wanting a piece of this and i feel like you guys are spotting this out or you can see this in this person or people yeah this is it's like you know this person need you okay yeah you feel like this person need you and for a lot of you guys i feel like you're in the energy of if I can do it, they can do it. If I can take time out to put all this energy and work into myself, then why the fuck you can't do the same thing? So it's like, I feel like you guys are really going to be pulling your energy back uh, from people here that you know can't really be trusted at this time. And I feel like you're pouring all your energy into yourself. And this is what's going to be turning you into a success here. Because you don't want nobody to need you. You want somebody to want to be with you. Somebody who also offer the same qualities in life as well. Like, they need to do the work. I'm kind of picking up on the energy of somebody trying to 
yeah, I am picking up copy. Like there could be, um, there could be um, a lot of toxic people that really don't know uh, what direction they're supposed to go in in life. And it's like now that you're trending, a lot of people is one, wanting to jump on the same train as you or they're wanting to do the same thing as you. Some people could be studying you, okay? But I'm hearing they didn't go to the school. This is somebody who didn't go to... Um, to, to spiritual school here like this is somebody who still need a lot of work and i feel like you guys are going to be able to spot these people out of the crowd yeah we got tlc coming out you guys so yeah you know it's people creeping yeah ninjas creeping out here and you guys you hip to the game you see this shit okay i feel like for some of you guys your i feel like your soul tribe is coming in like people who is really down for you, people who support you and care about you, people who um care about your your best intentions or they have best wishes for you. But um it's like whoever the people that's on the outside of you, I'm kind of getting the energy of like the cool kids. Like they want to be where you are or they want to get all this recognition that you and your soul tribe is getting at this time. But yes, yeah, like they can't get in the club. I'm hearing they can't get in. Your your spirit guys is on standby. Do you hear me? Your security is full force. This is like Fort Knox. All right. They're not letting nobody in, in this spiritual club without a membership. Yeah, these people didn't put in the work. All right, they took some type of quick test online and passed that. And it's only because they was taking notes off of you, but they don't know how deep your information go, how deep your intuition go, the information that spirit give you go, how much research you don't put in. They don't know. It's like they trying to get in with a false membership. Yeah, and I am picking up y'all like your spidey sense is going off, red light. Yeah, your red light going to be going off about certain people that want to come back into your life and talking about, well, what about your friends? And you like, what friends, nigga? <laughs> I'm just saying, what friends? You talking about the ones who, um, who supported me when I was down and out, the ones that believed in me? Because for a lot of y'all, I'm picking up on the energy that you had people around you that was praying on your downfall. And now that you don't remove these people out of your life, now they back up in your face because you don't blew the fuck up or you don't became famous talking about what about me? You like, what about you? Okay. I feel like these was the type of people that made you feel unpretty in life or feel like you wasn't enough or it's like they was um, blaming you for certain things that was taking place in their life. And for a lot of you guys, you pull back your energy from these people because you felt like they was fucking crazy. All right, because you saw the truth. Spirit revealed the truth to you. And you like, never mind. I don't want no scrubs. Like, please stop holding on to my coattail. Okay? These people trying to hold on to your coattail and get through the gate. But spirit is not letting these people get by. No, you don't get no free pass. You got to put in the work. Yeah, I'm here at principal office. Yeah, there's going to be some people in trouble, I'm hearing, in the month of November. Big trouble. This could be something dealing with paperwork as well. Or, yeah, I'm hearing contract or paperwork. But yeah, it's like you ain't got time for no scrubs in your life. People who's only coming in to take what you got or see what you got, see what you got going on. I feel like for a lot of you, you keeping your shit cute and private. You're not telling everybody what you manifesting or what you working on. Spirit said, good job, okay? Yeah, good job. Y'all walking away from all of this shit. Yeah. For some of you guys, you could have told some people some things about themselves, okay, is what I'm hearing. And I'm hearing prophecy. For some of you guys, you could be like a prophecy or a prophet or you, you definitely receive a lot of downloads from the most high. 
And I feel like there were some people that was in your life that you could have warned about certain things too. Like you could have warned these people that certain things was going to play out. I feel like that shit is happening, y'all, with waterfalls being here. Okay? And now this is somebody who deep in their emotions now. They feel like their life is falling the fuck apart. It's like, I don't know why I'm hearing flood. Somebody could end up having a busted pipe or something like that, but I'm hearing a flood. Yeah, some type of home is being destroyed here because somebody's emotions is all over the place. Yeah. For some of you guys, I am picking up like, um, you could have had a karmic partner. This could be a twin flame as well or a divine partner here that could have been in a, a very low vibration. And it's like, this person is watching everybody admire you, um, everybody coming towards you for information or um, advice. And this person about to have a damn heart attack because they know that something is about to take off in your life. Somebody could literally have like a health scare is what I'm hearing. And they like, this the last time I'm gonna fuck with that shit, okay? That's what I'm hearing, y'all. This could have been somebody who was taking Percocets or pain pills. Um, this could have been somebody who was snorting some shit. Okay, I don't mean to say it like that. I might end up beeping that out. But I am picking up some white shit here that they know their body cannot intake. And, and whoever this is, like I said, they said it's the last time I'm taking that shit. Yeah, I am picking up you guys like I'm picking up a lot of fights and I don't feel like this is regarding you guys energy. Um, this could be like, I don't know why I'm here, Romeo. Okay, this person name could be Romeo or this is somebody who is very charming, very good looking. Um, I just heard a smooth operator. This is somebody who know how to maneuver. Somebody who know how to strategize or I'm picking up like somebody who know how to manipulate as well. But with, with this coming out, like I'm picking up like some type of fight that's gonna be taking place with this person. And I feel like this person is about to walk away because they like, fuck this shit. Okay, so if this is somebody who got addictions to like drugs, I'm also picking up like sex addictions. Um, this person, like I said, they could end up having a health scare, especially if they find out that um, somebody could have gave them something. This might not be nothing too serious, but I'm picking up on the energy of this person saying, I'm not finna continue to play with my life like this, okay? I feel like they're walking away. And there could definitely be like a karmic here that's trying to hold on to this person. And they like, chick, we can't be friends. Like, no, I'm trying to get over here to my Wonder Woman, hell. You ordinary, okay? You mediocre. <laughs> this is not what I signed up for, but I'm picking up like this is somebody who thought that whoever they went toward was going to be this very high level, high success, high status. They thought that this person was going to take them to the top, but this is somebody who's realizing that this karmic energy has did nothing but pull them down. This is somebody who's also realizing that they need to get out of a stuck place very quick. Okay. And I'm picking up like, you know, this person could want you to be their hero. Okay. With Wonder Woman being here. Somebody is wanting you guys to be their fucking hero. When they know they need to be putting in the work. And for a lot of you guys, like, uh, fool, I'm not going to save you. All right now, I'm too busy saving myself. Okay? A lot of you guys are, are really, really pulling back your energy. But it's because 
you're increasing your momentum, whatever you're going after, you're going after this with persistency, okay? With compassion, with passion, with zest, with drive. Like there's something you got your eyes on and I feel like nothing or no one can get in your way. And if you do face adversity, you guys, you're blowing this shit out of the water, okay? Your life is starting to become very organized as well. And I do feel like Saturn had a hand in this, okay? This could be regarding your finances, your stability, becoming more disciplined, um, having more structure, self-control. So you guys, you're learning to implement the things that you have learned in your life to push you on the journey of, I'm here in self-mastery, okay? You're learning to master yourself, and I just heard you're leaving a trail of success behind. So like I said, for some of you guys, you are influencing other people's lives as well. And it's like whatever you put out into the universe, you're going to affect other people so that they can change their life as well. Yeah, you guys, I'm, I'm picking up like an icon. Are people really just supporting you because they see what you're doing? They see the type of person you are. They are watching you transform before their very eyes and they want to know what's this, what's the key? Okay, what's your secret? What's your blueprint? All right, these are the people who want to know what your what your um DNA code is, okay, because they want some of this too. But I am picking up you guys are gonna be helping a lot of people here, and I'm I'm picking up like a legacy being left behind. Let's see, y'all. Let's get a couple more cards and then I'm going to end this because I don't want this reading to be very long. Pull this down. Spirit, show me what I need to see for the collective. That's the main thing. Hermit, you guys. Virgo energy. Some of you guys could be a Virgo. Are you um could have dealt with a Virgo? This could also be Mercury energy with Hermit card being here because Mercury rules Virgo. So I am picking up like you guys a lot of communication coming in towards you, a lot of downloads, a lot of downloads. Um, yeah, I'm hearing the truth is being revealed. For a lot of you guys, you're receiving the clarity you need. You see things very clearly. It's like looking in life's mirror. So it's like now you know what you have to do. You done became a lot wiser, a lot stable, a lot more stable. I'm also seeing you guys really, really being in your spiritual strength at this time. And I'm hearing divinely protected with that star around her neck. You are divinely protected. But yeah, your ancestors and spirit guides are giving you all the information that you need at this time to put you in a spotlight or put you on top. Yeah, I just heard you the star of the show. Spirit, show me what else. Ooh, yes, Lord. So y'all, this is the main theme for the first two weeks of November. You guys are going to be doing a lot, a lot of research. You're going to be receiving a lot of downloads. I do feel like you guys are going to be writing some things down as well. Or this is, like I said, you guys becoming very disciplined. With the Ten of Wands and the Seven of Swords being here, I'm picking up like a lot of adversity that you was facing. You about to conquer this. All right, you're removing this out of the way. It's like you're going within and seeing what you got to do to remove yourself from all of this conflict, all of these um, obstacles here. For some of you guys, this is what people was trying to do to you. Okay, there was people who was pulling on your energy or trying to pull on your energy. But for a lot of you guys, I'm hearing that whatever these people was doing, baby, it's going back to their ass 10 times fold. Like, spirit do not play about you. Um, I'm picking up, like, a lot of karma coming in as well. But this is also, you guys, no longer self-sabotaging your life, okay? In areas you were stuck in or you was facing adversity. No longer being stuck. 
and this could be bad habits, bad behaviors, your belief system, um, how you was operating on a day-to-day -day basis. If you guys was always rushing, 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 I'm picking up like slowing down, okay? Really getting your priorities together. Um, I'm also hearing you first. So this is you guys realizing that you got to put you first every day. So that's like waking up in the morning before you start rushing around the house, trying to get your coffee right out the door. Take 15 minutes to go within and meditate because I'm picking up messages coming in that's going to help you out of some type of situation here that you could feel stuck in. All right. This is slowing down and seeing what's, what's real and what's false. I'm hearing that some of you guys was making things harder than what it actually was. And so it's like spirit is having to slow you down so you can work on other areas of your life. I just heard it's more than mental. Okay. So some of you guys was putting a lot of mental energy into building something, working on something, trying to manifest something. And this is giving me the energy of spirit saying, go within and go within your heart. Listen to your emotions. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your body. What is it trying to tell you? You guys are receiving the answer. Spirit. Oh, yeah. So, like I said, you guys, the situation, we got the hang one coming in in reverse. We also got the star here, and we got the eight of wands in reverse, all right? Um, Pisces, um, for some of you guys, you could be a Pisces, but I'm hearing Neptune. So Neptune could be influencing some of you guys. Like I said, you receiving a lot of clarity, a lot of downloads, synchronicities, dreams, okay, about what it is you're needing to do. Yeah, I'm picking up mystery. So there could be some people who is really, really trying to figure out what you're doing. You could be like a mystery to these people right now. Um, if if you do have your own business, you could be kind of pulling back or you don't do certain things the way you used to do. Or I'm kind of getting the energy of you guys disconnecting here because you're building yourself back up. With this, this is also Uranus energy, but this is Aquarius. So I'm picking up like reinvention. <clears throat> it's like you're reinventing yourself. You've been receiving downloads that you're needing to heal yourself. Okay. Go with the flow. Start resisting. Because with the Eight of Wands in the reverse, this is giving me the energy of you guys disconnecting or like, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm hearing, disconnecting, because I just heard a dial, a dial tone. So this is like you pulling your energy back um, from people at this time so that you can really, really do the necessary work um, so that you can bring in your manifestations. But I'm hearing innovative. So, yeah, I'm picking up you guys could be creating around this time, building are just really working on yourself. But I'm hearing that your light is definitely about to shine. It's like once you decide to unblock people or once you do come back out in the spotlight, people going to be like, wow, what? <laughs> they look so different. You know, they got all this energy. Um, You see how their skin is glowing? Like people are really going to be giving you a lot of attention. And it's because you guys did the work, okay? You wouldn't sleep in school. You was actually listening to the teacher. You was listening to spirit. So you about to ace this spiritual test. Spirit. We got the six of swords. Yeah. You guys are no longer going to be stuck in your head here. In the Six of Cups, baby. So, yeah. Spirit is taking you guys away from dark waters, hard times, stress, struggles, worries, 
um, being stuck in your head about situations, whether this is a job or your business or your family, your home, your kids, um, your bills. Like this is like taking a break, getting away from this. Cause it's like, I pay the same bills every month. I have the same stress every day. Um, this is giving me the energy of like routine and spirit is breaking you out of a routine or something that you got comfortable doing, but this was making you, this was actually slowing you down or this was keeping you stuck. It was causing too much stress in your life. So your ancestors and spirit guides are getting you to fuck up out of here. And with the page of wands, this is you guys having a new passion or I'm hearing a new inspiration on life. This is seeing things very clearly. This is also you guys receiving a lot of creative ideas. I feel like you're going to be incorporated into your life. Um, but this is talking about passion, okay? Having passion for what you're doing, what you're going after. Um, having an open mind is what I'm hearing. For some of you guys, this is you tapping more into your creativity, especially if you're more logical or when you like say for instance you do have your own business you could produce your own content like you could be spitting facts but if you don't really put your emotions in it or your feelings in it or you don't make it fun it's like it's less interesting you know people like to feel excited or they want to know that you're passionate about what you're doing. So this is giving me the energy of you guys doing something that's more passionate. And I feel like this is going to be drawing in a crowd or this is going to boost up your sales or your followers, your subscribers. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm hearing, you guys. And with the Six of Cups, I do feel like your ancestors have a major, major hand in this. They're giving you all of their gifts, okay? Or they're t telling you everything you need to know. And you guys are definitely listen listening because you go to, okay, you go to spiritual school, you know? You listen in class, all right? You take time out to listen to your ancestors, to get advice, to get knowledge. And they are definitely coming through with the come through. For some of you guys, you will be purchasing a home in the future, okay? I feel like you guys, um, this is what you've been waiting for for a while, okay? With the Six of Cups, this talks about home, nostalgia, um, reflecting, soulmates. Some of you guys can have a soulmate that's going to be coming in as well. Yeah, but I'm hearing fulfillment. Like, this is emotionally going to fulfill you, all right? Um, in the past, you could have been left feeling empty because these cups look empty here, but it's like this cup right here is full. So I'm, I'm getting the energy of your cup overflowing, or this is something dealing with your childhood, healing your inner child. All right. Um, I'm, I don't know why I'm hearing false knowledge or... There, people could have told you that you was never going to be nothing or you wasn't enough or I'm kind of getting the energy of people being upset as well because they felt like you're not supposed to have this gift or you're not supposed to be receiving all of this. But these are the same people who belittle you, who was trying to tear you down. It's like spirit is preparing your tables before your enemies. All right, and I am picking up like jealousy or envy here, but you guys don't give a fuck, okay? They just mad because they left out in the cold. Shit. Want to go to a shelter or something? Somebody can end up getting kicked out, okay, or needing a place to stay. <clears throat> um, especially if there's some type of blow up or a tower moment that's taking place. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Spirit, what's the challenge? So, yeah. I feel like, you guys, it, it will be a challenge here, but I'm picking up you guys being determined, okay? You're determined to get this. 
because <clears throat> you know what's at the end of the rainbow. You know you got a pot of gold that's waiting for you. You know your paradise is on the other side. You know things is going to be a lot lighter, okay? So right now, it's like you guys are getting up your strength, okay? You're going deep within. Yeah, this is giving me sun energy here, okay? This is Leo energy. Some of you guys could be a Leo or you could be a Scorpio. Um, but I'm here in sun. So this could be regarding your ego or your consciousness. I feel like you guys are going through a ego death, all right? There is some type of karmic cycle that's ending for you or is closing out. But I feel like it's because you guys put in the work. Yes, and, and now your manifestations are coming in for you. With the Three of Pentacles, I'm picking up like this could be regarding work or your finances or working with people or collaborating with people here. Some of you guys feel like you work better on your own. I, I feel like for some of you, there's this, this is something that you're wanting to do on your own. But for others of you, like if this is a contract, like if you're a model or you have to sign a contract. You could be a traveling nurse or something like that. Um, I feel like you got a contract that's coming in for you or people want to hire you. But for other others of you that have a home-based business, I'm picking up like spirit giving you the strength here to do this on your own. Like you might have to go to people for some help, but for a majority of it, you guys are going to be doing this on your own. Yeah. Some people are going to have a very hard time ending cycles here, especially if this is dealing with a karmic partner. But I feel like things are going to get very heavy if you didn't learn the lesson. If you didn't go to spiritual school, it's going to be hard for these people to get the lesson. It's what I'm hearing. And it's like spirit is about to make things very hard. Because I am picking up like this is something that's supposed to be going on with the collective. There's a reprogramming in consciousness here. So if you know that something is not good for you or something don't serve you and you continue to do this shit, spirit is going to come in and fuck some shit up. Okay? I'm seeing a twister. Like some things is about to go whether people want it to go or not. Spirit say we can do this the easy way or we can do this the hard way. Which one you choose? So, yeah. Spirit, if this is also like people who were sending you negative energy or people in the same field as you or career arena as you, like if they're sending you this negative energy, I'm picking up this shit don't carry no weight. This is coming in sideways. Like it don't carry no weight. Or this energy going right back to them. Okay. Yeah. Because it's like they were trying to stop your shine. Spirit. What's the. Okay. What's the outcome spirit. I said I wasn't going to make this reading long. What's the outcome spirit. For the collective. So I am picking up you guys. You could be walking away here. Like I said, you're leaving a very difficult time in your life where you where you didn't feel fulfilled or there was little success or something just wasn't making you happy no more. Um, you guys, I feel like you're leaving this. I'm also here in trusting the process. For some of you guys, you could have had issues financially or this is regarding work, your money. This could be stability, okay? I'm also hearing for some of you guys, you could have felt like you let yourself go. Um, you could have been spending more time at work than taking care of your physical health. For some of you guys, um, it's been real hard for you re to really spend time with your children because you've been focusing on your bills or your finances, Okay, but I'm picking up like this is about to end. Spirit, give me another one for the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, magician. You and your magician energy. You not finna sell it for this bullshit. It's like you had a wake-up call or a light bulb moment. Okay, like, oh no, fuck this. 
All right, I got to change some things around, okay? I'm going to use all the tools that I learned, everything the Spirit untold me, all these downloads to manifest the life that I want. I refuse to be stuck in this energy. I refuse to feel defeated. I refuse to be conquered, all right? This is not letting the devil take control of your life or negative energy, negative thoughts, um, sabotage your career or your faith or what you're building for yourself. Yeah, I'm picking up to some of you guys. This is giving me the energy of having the faith of a mustard seed. It's like you're pulling everything out to make sure this comes true. We got the three of cups coming out in reverse. Yeah. Oh, we got the queen of cups coming out in reverse. You guys, this is balance here. That's what I'm getting. Look, we got the um, two of cups at the bottom of the deck. This is you healing and balancing your life, your masculine and feminine energy, your mind and your heart, um, your intellect and your creativity. You know what I'm saying? Um, the way you think logically and the way you think, um, I'm hearing passion, okay? things that you got passion in like i'm picking up like you guys if you're doing something that you really don't love you could be pulling your energy away to figure out what is that thing that you would love to do as well but this is all about balance okay some of you guys could be a cancer pisces scorpio or um capricorn taurus virgo we got two queens of cups i mean we got two queens coming out the queen of cups and the queen of pentacles so like I said, something was affecting you guys' finances here, your stability, your home, your business. But I'm also picking up like emotionally out of balance or you could have let your health fall fall to the side or there was some type of imbalance here that I feel like you guys are changing, okay? You're changing this, okay? And for some of you guys, there definitely could have been some um, kitchen witches that was trying to send you negative energy for your hair to fall out, for you to gain weight, for nobody to be attracted to you, for you not to receive this abundance and success. And it's like by you guys building up your energy, you sending all this energy that they were sending back to you, you sending this shit back to them three times four. Okay? Yeah, because we even got the three of swords right here. For some of you guys, this could have been a divine counterpart that did not want you to move on or they didn't want you to be with no one else. Um, they didn't want nobody else to see you guys being attractive. They could have been sending you some negative energy. If they were, this shit is going back to them 10 times fold. All right. This could be somebody who's been indulging in third party situation or with a lot of toxic people. Spirit is about to come in and shed some, th some shit down. Okay. In this person life. Because this is somebody who's emotionally closed off. But it's like spirit is saying, by the time I'm done with you, you're going to wish, <laughs> okay? You're going to wish that you had made better decisions in your life. Spirit, why is the king of cups here? Yeah. There's somebody who's going to be wanting to come in towards you guys, okay? After they see that you done got all of your shit together, they're going to be wanting to do better and come in towards you then. But for some of you guys, you already hip to the game. You already know. You're going to know the reason why this person is wanting to come back into your life. For some of you guys, I'm picking up, you might end up refusing this person. But this is also telling me, you guys, like I said, you balancing yourself out. A lot of stability, a lot of security is coming into your life. And I do feel like spirit is shining down on you, okay? Your angels and your ancestors are looking at you. They're watching over you. They're protecting you. They're guiding you. They're also showing you how to tap back into your inner child or work on your inner child. Work on those insecurities that you could have had as a child that's affecting you as an adult, okay? Some of you guys, you can have sunflowers, okay, around your house or you love sunflowers. But I am picking up abundance and success, okay? A lot of freedom. Um, a lot of, yeah, I'm hearing freedom, okay? It's like your life is going to get lighter. You could have been in some very, very heavy energy, but... Spirit is putting the spotlight on you, and I'm picking up it's because you did the work, 
okay you chose to go within you went to those dark places that most people wouldn't dare to go all right and you faced your fears and now you coming out on the other side in all of this abundance this land flowing with milk and honey and you got people um you got people on the other side of the door that's beating on it because they want to get in okay i just heard keep a knocking but you can't come in <laughs> Keep a knocking, but you can't come in. Yeah, because you know spirit is setting you up for success. <sighs> anyway, you guys, that's my time. I was on here longer than I thought I was going to be. But I love you guys so much. Y'all, make sure you check, check out my Chosen Journey deck. The information is in the description below. If you want a private reading, the information is in the description below. But until we talk again, you guys, I love y'all so much. Hold it down, y'all. Peace.